Intro, hello and welcome to today's video on the selection of livestock breeds for feedlot fattening. Livestock feedlot fattening is a practice of feeding animals in a controlled environment to achieve a desired weight and meat quality. The selection of the right breed for feedlot fattening is crucial for the profitability of the industry. In this video, we will discuss the factors that affect the selection of livestock breeds, the most common breeds used in feedlot fattening, and how to select the right breed for your operation. Factor 1, Growth Rate The first factor to consider when selecting a breed for feedlot fattening is the growth rate. The growth rate determines how quickly an animal can reach its desired weight and is critical to the profitability of feedlot operations. Breeds like the Angus, Limousine, and Cemental have a high growth rate and are commonly used in feedlot fattening operations. However, the growth rate of a breed should be balanced with other factors like feed efficiency and meat quality. Factor 2. Feed efficiency Feed efficiency is another critical factor to consider when selecting a breed for feedlot fattening. Feed efficiency refers to how much feed an animal needs to gain a unit of weight. Breeds like the Charolais, Gelvier, and Cemental are known for their high feed efficiency and are preferred for feedlot operations. However, the feed efficiency of a breed should be balanced with other factors like growth rate and meat quality. Factor 3. Meat quality The meat quality of the animal is another important factor to consider when selecting a breed for feedlot fattening. Meat quality includes factors like tenderness, flavor, and juiciness, and is critical to the success of the feedlot operation. Breeds like the Angus, Hereford, and Wagyu are known for their high meat quality and are commonly used in feedlot operations. However, the meat quality of a breed should be balanced with other factors like growth rate and feed efficiency. Factor 4. Adaptability to the environment The adaptability of a breed to the environment is another important factor to consider when selecting a breed for feedlot fattening. Different breeds are adapted to different climates and environments and can thrive in specific conditions. Breeds like the Braham, Santa Gertrudis, and Senapole are adapted to hot and humid environments and are commonly used in feedlot operations in the southern United States. However, the adaptability of a breed to the environment should be balanced with other factors like growth rate, feed efficiency, and meat quality. How to select the right breed? Now that we have discussed the factors that affect the selection of livestock breeds for feedlot fattening let's talk about how to select the right breed. The first step is to evaluate the goals and objectives of your operation, including the desired weight, meat quality, and production efficiency. Once you have assessed your goals, consider the growth rate, feed efficiency, meat quality, and adaptability of different breeds. Select a breed that can meet your goals and thrive in your environment. Conclusion In conclusion, the selection of the right breed for feedlot fattening is crucial for the success of the livestock industry. Factors like growth rate, feed efficiency, meat quality, and adaptability to the environment should be considered when selecting a breed. The most commonly used breeds for feedlot fattening include the Angus, Limousine, Charolais, and Cemental. However, it is essential to evaluate your goals and select a breed that can meet your specific needs. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has been informative.